Uh, hey go guys, I'm um, making another video to show you how to set up Car Home Ultra and Auto Guard on your phone. Uh, I had a uh, YouTube user ask me to make a video about it, so to help him out I'm making this video. Uh, first of all, apologies because I sound a bit sick, um, and that's because I am. I've got a really bad cold, I've got a sore throat, my voice um, has gone, so as you can probably hear. Anyway, let's not get caught up into that and uh, let's start. First of all, um, you need to install these three APKs, uh, which I have already downloaded on my phone, but I'll leave you the links in the description so you can download it for free as well. But uh, normally these APKs, you have to actually pay for it on the Play Store. So what you need is you need a uh, MacroDroid Pro uh, AutoGuard. So that's the AutoGuard uh, guard main app, that, that's the unlocker. The Scar Home Ultra main app and Scar Home Ultra's unlocker. So we'll start one by one. We'll start with Macro Droid uh, installation settings. Uh, sources checked. Okay. All right. And uh, you guys don't really need to see this. You know how to install the apps anyway. So what I'm gonna do is pause the video until it does it. Okay, the app is installed. Let's open it. Uh, so let's go back and install the next one. So go for Auto Guard, install. Okay, that's installed too. Uh, so now this is because it's not unlocked yet. So we gotta go on this app, Pro Unlocker. Click on that, open. So that should unlock the license on that app and we go on car home ultra next install oh, hang on. Why is it doing that? Mm -mm. okay let me look into that okay guys um i don't know what's happened there for some reason the car home ultra won't install on this phone but um, it's already installed but what this phone has it has a um, second space it's like a virtual machine within the phone so i was trying to show you step by step on that but for some reason it's not installing on the second space but i will go on the first space and i'll show you how it ex exactly works but i'll show you how to program macro droid now macro droid is uh, supposed to have commands that i have already created for this setup uh, what i'll do is i have uploaded them on my google drive and i'll leave you with the link so you don't have to go through this pain to do it all over again uh, so all you gotta do is you gotta import the file and uh, i have already downloaded the file from my google drive again and i'll show you how to uh, do it so there is a, this is the a command file that I've created you open it up with macro droid and it imports all your macros and you should see see got five macros here that's what you want so what I've done here is basically programmed it to uh, automatically run your car home ultra so it basically when you boot up your phone it should launch car, um, car home ultra with the constraint of Wi-Fi disabled and there's the other command where when you connect pa connect the power, that's the trigger. It will launch Car Home Ultra and wait for next two seconds, then it'll launch Auto Guard. And um, I have like completely calculated these steps, and this is what you need to do. Um, and then you got a constraint of Wi-Fi disabled. What that does is it would only enable this command when Wi-Fi is disabled. So it, this command will not work if you have your Wi-Fi. Uh, turned on the reason for that is sometimes if you inside the house you try to update the apps in your phone and then you turn your Wi-Fi on and when you plug in the power the phone is not gonna just start launching car home ultra all over again so it would only work when um, the Wi-Fi is disabled uh, so it's just to make it a bit more efficient and uh, then there's this one which is for uh, to turn to turn the power off uh and uh when you disconnect the power so basically as soon as you disconnect the power it's gonna wait 10 seconds and if you within 10 seconds you don't turn the power back on phone will turn off itself and again with the wi-fi disabled constraint the reason uh, uh, for this one you your phone need to be rooted mine it's not working on my phone right now because i have not rooted my new xiaomi redmi note 4 still trying to find a way to root it and but if your phone is already rooted it should work on your phone 
automatically you should not have any issues uh, but that's the setup that you need for the app and for AutoGuard you're gonna go in AutoGuard which I have already installed and uh, what you need to do is you're gonna start a background app and you're gonna permit it yep to draw overlaying apps so you're gonna go in there for initial setup um, archive videos use and yeah I'm just gonna go quickly through it recording audio is up to you I use recording you can dedicate however memory you want to give it uh, so let's say five minute I use five minute video cuts uh, background growth recording yes uh, auto upload not in use uh, that you can use as well <coughs> and then you gotta allow it I don't know if you can see it it's really bright and my camera can't see just gonna give it permission for all those things and then yep and there you are you in auto guard mode now so you just gotta play around with the settings here um, I'm not gonna get into too much detail for that you can like obviously control your quality I have gone for um, 720p and uh, focus mode um, is, I would say auto and yeah you can play around with these settings I'm not gonna spend too much time on these and then you gotta go on these settings you gotta go in settings so here it there's very important to get that little window down here so you're gonna go all the way down here um, video auto rotation on and you're gonna go in advanced settings and click preview because if you don't click this preview you will be if you will get the recording but you will not get that little window that you get at the bottom of car home ultra that you normally would get <clears throat> I'm so sorry about my voice and I'm finding it very hard to talk anymore so I'm getting a really dry throat anyway so these two apps are set up now now the only thing that is left is car home ultra now like i said so for some reason car home ultra would not install in my second space so we'll go back on the first one now with car home ultra like you got those two uh files that you've got <clears throat> so what you need to do is you're gonna install car home ultra first and then you're gonna open the second app which is the base app um let me see if I can find it. So yeah, here's the unlocker app that you're gonna click on and it's gonna unlock the app. But once you've unlocked the app, what I need need you to do is go on Play Store again. Go on Play Store and update Car Home Ultra. Right? Because uh, the version that I've given you here, it is a little bit old, but that this is the only version that would unlock with uh, this unlocker so you gotta install this old one first install this old one first unlock it with this car home ultra unlocker and then go to play store and update the car home ultra to the latest version and it should work you should not have any issues uh, that's how I've been doing it so the reason uh, you need to update is it's because um, <clears throat> oh, it's giving a wrong uh, location uh, Oh, that's because I haven't got my GPS on. Oh, now it's changed again. Hang on. That's 53. Oh, that's all right. I don't want people to see my location anyway. <coughs> yep. It's the wrong location again. Anyway. So what you need to do here is... Uh, <coughs> oh, my God, my throat. So you go into the settings here and... Um, oh. Uh settings and you can change the whole setup and with the updated version you will get uh, different modes and uh, and like I've got um, do, 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 hang on. the theme that I've got here I'll show you oh gosh so the, the settings and the theme display set theme see i've got this black one you will not get it on the version that i've given you to download so you will only get that black theme that i've got this nice black theme here that would only be available after <coughs> after you have uh, 
installed um, the uh, updated the app anyway so once you've done that so you can click on here you can uh, select whatever you want I've got the speed of speedometer um, you get your time and everything now here's the trick uh, because you click on here see you're getting all this window and to have it adjusted so when you first start it it's gonna be like this big it's gonna be massive so you see this little triangle at the bottom you're gonna click oh, oh no you're gonna click that triangle and you can adjust the size of that window and then you're gonna click in the middle and then you can drag it on the spot wherever you want it and once you've got that um, yeah and it should stay there so every time you launch car home ultra and you click on the background bam it should just automatically open up Near Newton. only in that spot right and uh, I'll show you see I've got Wi-Fi on now and if I plug in my charger Oh, my charger is barely long enough. So if I plug in my charger, it's charging, but nothing is happening. Right, so I'm going to unplug my charger again. And we're going to turn Wi-Fi off. And we plug in the charger now. Here, here I'm doing it. I'm going to touch the screen. Oh, hang on. The, sorry, the Wi-Fi is still on. Hasn't turned off. Okay, now it's off. And now I'm going to plug in the charger. There you go. It's automatically launched Car Home Ultra. Here it's going into Auto Guard. And all those commands are kicking in. And it should start recording any minute. Oh, there you go. It started recording. So, yeah. So this is how you set it all up. And uh, you get a... Um, uh, what do you call it? A uh, nice phone holder to hold it in the place, but it's not wobbly or anything. And uh, you should uh, have your car video set up here. All right. I hope you guys have a good day. Look, I'm really gonna finish this video now. Um, sick as a dog. <coughs> Can't really talk very much. My throat is dry as a desert. So uh, I'm gonna call it a night. You guys have a good night. See you later.